In this video, we'll learn how to produce a project schedule based on a work breakdown structure. It's very important that all of the sections of a project plan are based on the work breakdown structure as that indicates the total scope of the project. Let's review the project work breakdown structure we've been working with. It's the Employee Engagement Survey 2020 project and there were five different high order deliverables. We're going to develop a survey, implement the survey, do some data analysis, identify some employee engagement strategies based on the data analysis, and then evaluate the project. And in here, one of our deliverables was to submit a report. So going back to our template, we have an identifier. The identifier is the coding on the work breakdown structure. So if we go back, the first coding is 1.0 and the activity is to develop the survey. So here we put in 1.0, develop survey. For each item of work, we need to determine a person responsible or accountable for producing that work, someone who's going to lead it. In this case, we're going to pick Alan Martin as the person responsible. For the duration, we can't conclude this as yet because a work breakdown structure is hierarchical, meaning all the work adds up to this top level of developed survey. So let's have another look here. We need to do some consultation to draft a survey and then finalise it. So our first step is to decide and figure out how long these will take. We can do this through consulting with experts, looking at previous projects, but we really want a pretty good guess or guesstimate as to how long these things will take. Let's put them into our template. So 1.1 is consultation. 1.2 is to draft the survey. And 1.3 is to finalise the survey, ready to be implemented. Uh, we may have different people in charge of all of these things or Alan may be looking after all of them. It depends on your project. So firstly, how long will you need for consultation? This would depend on how big the organisation is, who you would need to consult with, is it done face to face, via phone, via email, it really depends. Here I'm going to put one week for consultation. Once we've received all the information, we can then go about drafting a survey that suits the needs of the organisation and our project. Let's say that will take us two weeks. Once it goes through a review round, little modifications are done, we can finalise the survey ready to be implemented. Let's say that takes one more week. The next thing to consider is what needs to come before or after other work. So does anything need to come before consultation? No. In order to draft the survey, do we need anything to be done first? Well, in this case, yes, we need to consult first so we know what should be in the survey. So drafting the survey is dependent on 1.1. So 1.1 is a predecessor work that needs to be done before 1.2. And finalising the survey is also dependent on the work of drafting the survey. We need a draft survey to send around to key stakeholders so they can give feedback and then we can finalise it ready for implementation. Going back to our work breakdown structure, the next was to implement the survey 2.0. So here we have 2.0 implement survey. So here we have three items of work. First is to determine the distribution list, make sure all the email addresses and so forth are correct. Then we draft communications to employees, which will be asking them to complete the survey with a deadline, what the survey is about and so forth. And then finally, we actually launch the survey. We hit the go button and deliver it to all of the employees asking them to complete it. So let's put that into our schedule. So 2.1 was distribution list and 2.2 was to draft the communications and 2.3 was to launch the survey and launching the survey would have the finalised communications in them. So in terms of implementing the survey, we need to decide is Alan going to be responsible or will it be someone else? In this instance, let's say it's Jenny Jones. 
and so Jenny will be in charge of actually implementing the survey. So again, we need to figure out the time frames. The distribution list, let's say that takes one week in order to cleanse the distribution list, make sure it's up to date for all employees so that they'll receive the survey correctly. We'll draft the communications. That's also going to take us one week as some stakeholders might need to review and give feedback. The launch of the survey will really only take one day as it's ensuring that the survey is distributed to everyone using the distribution list we've already organised. Once again, we consider what might come before what. So implementing the survey is definitely dependent on all of 1.0. We can't actually implement the survey if we haven't finalised it, for example. The distribution list, that would potentially not be dependent on anything. In fact, we could possibly start working on that on day one because we know that our scope of work is to every employee. So early on, we need to know that that distribution list needs to be completely up to date. Drafting the communications, uh, that will probably depend on either finalising or at least having a draft of the survey. So I'm going to put 1.2. We can't really figure out the draft communications too well until we've got some sort of a draft survey where we know the type of data that we're collecting. And the launch of the survey really can't happen until we've drafted those communications because that's going to go out with the launch of the survey. So hopefully you're seeing here the links and how this works. So if we were to continue, we would just go through each of these 3.0 in the same way that we've just done the first two. Uh, there really shouldn't be any gaps in here. Uh, so here we can say, you know, decide is Alan in charge of all of that or is it someone different? Uh, perhaps um, Alan is producing these items of work. So this is completely up to yourself and your project and your project team as to who is assigned to do the, the bits of work. We're going to put Jenny on all of these. Here now that we have some idea of the durations and we can see what comes before what, we can see that this here in total will take four weeks. Uh, this one looks like it will take roughly two weeks in a day. and so forth. If we were using some software such as Microsoft Project, this would be far simpler. It would automate a lot of things and we could also link the predecessors together so all of this will be automated. You can also use Excel. There are Excel templates for project schedules. Um, you might be able to find one online. At minimum, we just need this particular table for assessment. So just check that your project schedule exactly aligns with your work breakdown structure. So if I were to complete it, I should see everything all the way to 5.0, all the way down to submitting report, all coded the same, all named the same, so that there's synergy and matching between the two.